Hi, I'm Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, so today I'm going to be doing an overview on the HP DL380 Generation 7 server. So to start out, we're going to go over the CPU and the props. Um, these use the newer generation of uh, Intel CPUs, the Halem based. Um, you can get up to 6 cores per CPU, which equals up to 12 cores in total, along with hyper-threading, which can actually bring up to 24 threads in total. Um, so as far as the memory goes, you'll see that the memory is kind of divided up onto both sides on this versus older servers where it would just kind of one whole set of banks. With this, it's actually set up with one side per proc, so you can only use half the memory if you are only using one proc. So as far as the memory goes, the maximum you can use is you can go up to 288 gigabytes of RAM if you populate every, every uh, DIMM slot with 16 gigabyte um, dual rank uh, DIMMs. However, you can also go up to 384 gigabytes of RAM if you use 32 gigabyte DIMMs. However, because 32 gigabyte DIMMs are quad rank, you can only put in two per channel, so you'll only be able to populate 12 of the 18 DIMM slots. Um, as far as the chipset goes on this, it uses the Intel 5520 chipset. Now as far as the expansion goes on this machine, you'll notice that in the rear, there's a whole riser cage. Now there's multiple ways you can set these up. There are only actually two PCI slots on the board itself, and then on the riser itself, there are multiple riser boards that you can have installed onto it. Right now this is installed with just the basic two slot uh, PCI slot, which is running at 28x. Uh, PCI Express Generation 2 uh, slots. Um, you can go up to six different slots and you can actually mix and match between 16x and 8x PCI Express and PCI X for older style expansion cards. As you can also see on the rear there are different lengths or uh, sizes of the actual um, slots so you actually have to keep that in mind of only certain ones will only take half height cards as opposed to full height. So there are some restrictions as far as that goes. Now, as far as the RAID controller goes in this machine, it's all on board. Um, there are multiple ways that you can go about having this set up. If you go with no cache module, which you are pretty much limited to RAID 1 and 0. However, there are multiple other types of uh, cache modules that you can add that expand your ability to use RAID. Um, there is a 256 megabyte cache module a 512 megabyte cache module and a 1 gigabyte cache module. There are also different ways that you can back the cache as well. Um, on the 256 and 506, 512 megabyte cache module, you can either you can use a battery back cache, which essentially will hold on to the data if the power goes out, so that the cache doesn't have to rebuild itself every single time it comes back on. Now for the 512 megabyte module and the 1 gigabyte module, there's also something called flash-based, or flashback write-back cache. And essentially what that does actually is there is NAND memory on the cache module itself, and when the power goes out, it will actually write the cache data onto the NAND memory, and which will essentially hold it indefinitely. So it will last much longer than the three days that the battery back cache will normally allow you to back up your uh, cache while the power's out. Um, as far as the uh, storage on this machine, there are multiple configurations on how you can have it set up. Now, if you look right now, we've currently got it only set up with the standard eight slots. Um, it will take up to eight two and a half inch uh, SAS drives. You can, however, actually add another set of eight drives right here or you can actually have a completely different layout which will have six three and a half inch SATA or SAS uh, drives that you can put in there. Lastly on this machine there is three different types of power supplies that you can use on this. Um, right now we've currently got the lower end 460 watt power supplies in there. However, depending on your configuration they can go up to 750 watt or 1200 watt as well. Obviously, this will all depend on the amount of RAM, processors, and cards you have in your machine, so that will all really be dependent on that. Um, really, you'll also see 
It has fairly nice cooling on it. Um, there's a whole six set of fans, which do a fairly good job of cooling everything and keeping the server running pretty nice. Um, as far as that goes, it pretty much wraps up the overview of this uh, server. And if you want any more information, you can go to VelocityTechSolutions.com and you can find our number or ask questions through email or anything like that. Anyways, hope this is helpful. And again, this is Velocity Tech Solutions.